tilde one. S S S farce tilde one. Dur? No, it's in Windows. 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 Hacking. What's this from? Final Fantasy X2. Oh, I never played that. Hey, Raver. What's up, Raver? Okay, go in here. Close this. Go in here. Let's let's look at some some of the far side screensavers. You know, let people wake up. Let Toasty go to sleep. Set up. Retro Time Gamer Time is my company name. None. Easy install. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Look at that far side guy. That's all right. Oh. What? Intermission. It's working. Okay, club. Open it. Okay. Turn off the sound. Don't look at that. That's my Windows menu. Don't look at my Windows menu. Hi, everyone. Who else is here? Mars. We get no. I think maybe worldwide, Nim. I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't even consider that. I don't know. I don't know about these types of things. Okay, intermission. Far side. Which one should we look at? Wow, there's a lot. Nerd clock. Let's check out nerd clock. Oh, it's yeah. It's that guy from. That's him. That's the dude from Farside, and he's it's in his clock, and he's bouncing around. I like this one. Nerd clock. Play sounds jumping clock. What's jumping clock? Oh, like it'll just move around instead of bouncing around. That's pretty sweet. You go to bed the wrong time, I start too. That's funny. <laughs> Your sleeping schedule's broken? I don't know if it works out. I mean, that's good. <laughs> Every ship into Mars, you can live on Mars. Free. Hey, bum trip. Nerd clock. I like nerd I love the art in these. These intermission, I never looked at intermission ones before. They have good art. Uh, are there any other, like, cause in, no. In configure? Yeah, in, um, in After Dark you can configure all kinds of aspects of these, but it's different in this one. What's hell? It's just straight up, these, they're so graphically detailed, these screensavers. It's like a, they, it's just literally like, almost a cartoon version of these comics but it's some more obscure ish comics far side's pretty popular opus and bill i don't know it's probably not as popular maybe it was popular back then dilbert's popular dilbert, dilbert was pretty popular such as hell it's neat though that there's i mean is there any an other animated versions of the far side comics i think this is <laughs> that guy <laughs> you know we're just not reaching that guy <laughs> <laughs> it's uh there might have been a far side show at one point right but if not i mean this is like the only animated version of it or one of them nerd clock's bad you got far side comic books around your house hey barfy yeah me too dog hell oh dog hell there's even dog hell damned if you do damned if you don't he's poking him you gotta choose let's see what's he gonna choose come on it's either one or the other come on choose choose already I wonder if it's just like, is this really a good screen? Oh, cause it fades out every once in a while. Oh, he didn't choose. Here goes, here comes Roy again. He sure does think he's hell on wheels. That's funny. There's a lot. Of, okay, let's look at Fishbowl. Ah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Bob, it's like, it's like literally just animated versions of the comics. Bob, don't plug that in. Why do you even have power? So it goes through like the different comics, but it animates them instead of kind of being like a screensaver or just a uh, <laughs> kissing fish. Yeah, it's interesting seeing it animated. It's pretty cool. Toasty. Larson. Yeah, I used to love uh, Far Side growing up. Well, the Parkers are dead. You would encourage them to take thirds, didn't you? Like, I feel like I remember some of these. Instead of being the characters, it's just, it's like animated versions of the actual strips. Oh, well, it's burning in there. And they're watching their, thank God we made it out in time. <laughs> animated show? I don't know. Maybe. But does he have joke? did the far side have jokes for like a whole show? Or this is pretty, this is probably perfect. It like quickly animates the strips. Hey, Bob, good morning. 
Yeah, it combines the separate comic strips. Interesting. Yeah, and there seems to be, I wonder how many there are in each. Are there any? Yeah, this is a screensaver set we're looking at while we let people wake up. Let's see what else. Ballooning. Okay. What's going to happen? Nicholas, new best friend. Congrats. Uh, there's no adva there's no advantages. There's nothing good about it. But congrats, I guess. Congrats, Nicholas, for redeeming become my new best friend for 15,000 points. Hey, Nicholas. I mean, you can at least say I'm your best friend. Hey, Lord Manny. Good morning. Here we go. Maybe this one's like a more typical screensaver. Like, like you know, I mean, like toasters, flying toasters. It's just toasters flying across, right? Maybe this one's more... Oh. <laughs> that one got popped. Hey, Desage. I know these are these have really good art, really good pixel art. There's four sets of these. Far Side, two Opus and Bill, which is like... They made a sequel to the Opus and Bill one? Okay. But I guess Opus and Bill does have some wacky characters. And then they have a Dilbert one, too. Oh, there's... Oh, it's switched to... Okay, so this is more of a typical one. With bison ballooning around the screen. That's cool. I like this one. <laughs> they once in a while, they pop. He Nat Belmont. Opus and Bill is awesome. I guess I never really read much of the comic. I didn't. I mean, they made two Age of Fish. Oh, is this uh Age of Fish and amphibians? Okay, we got frogs eating mosquitoes. And flies. Oh, there's a happy face bug up here. I'll have to record some of these. Make be right back screens or something. Oh, their tongues got tangled. I can just look through these through old screensavers all day. A aerial grounds. Secret elephant aerial grounds. They know the songs. They had songs released to their comics. <laughs> I feel like I remember this comic too. Flying elephants. Oh, oh, came in for a landing here. <laughs> this one's funny. Flying elephants. Crumbs. Ooh, crumbs highlighted a message. I am immortal. I have inside me blood of kings. Yeah, yeah. I have no rival. No man can be my equal. Take me to the future of you all. You're so lame you have the screen turn off instead of using a screensaver. Well, you don't need them anymore, but that is pretty damn lame. All right, one more, one more egg fight. I don't look at these all day, but I could. We gotta get every screenshot set we can get and just look, just look at them one day. Egg fight. Chicken's having an egg fight. Me, I miss the days too. I was saying that the other yesterday or Wednesday. Egg fight. Egg fright. I was saying that Wednesday. Like, there's nothing like this. Like, there's no reason for anyone to make, uh, for lack of a better term, an art project like this anymore, right? You don't need screensavers, so no one makes anything like this anymore. No one would buy it. But it's cool that there was at least a point in history where it did exist. Uh, what am I looking for? Closed, yeah. Alright. Well, that's the end of the stream. No, just kidding. Play some Arcana. Then in like an hour and a half or so, we will... I just gotta open Discord. An hour and a half or so, we'll have a guest from Madrinus on and do a Madrinus coffee cup giveaway. Fuel cup giveaway. We'll do some Arcana. We, we just got to a cool, cool point in Arcana. Where we, we got a, a, a new character. We got we got like a good character in our party. Uh, got Undead Man, that's the one. Like the one where the guy invents a device that translates dog sparks to English. And they're just saying, hey, hey, hey. I, I like subconsciously remember those. Dinosaur 3D and medical hospital games? Okay. I just also like classic software from early 90s or through the 90s late 80s early 90s it's interesting 
Time reacts to screensavers. Yeah, I, I, I want to collect more now. I'm sure there were more programs or more companies that made them or even obscure ones. But other than that company, which is that that's called Intermission. And then they have After Dark. After Dark has a lot of compatibility issues, though. It's it seems like whenever I install it, like they break or. Windows 3.1 versions seem to be the most stable. The more modern versions, like Windows 95, Windows 98, they don't all work on uh, VMs. I can try to put them on my XP computer. When you're, when you're so lame. Shane, thank you for the raid. What up, Shane? How was, um. Let me just catch one. How was, uh. Deadly Premonition. Shane's playing Deadly Premonition. Any mods? Shout out Shane. Shano there. Thank you so much, Shane. Thank you for the raid. It's fun to the raid. Oh, we're leaving too. Yeah, we're only doing a 20 minute stream today. Shane is arcane. Chanel. Chanel's Games is here. Chanel's Games. I'm trying to think. Yeah. We're playing Arcanum today, y'all. We're playing Arcanum today, y'all. Let me catch my chat. I'm gonna miss some. He found one of the songs, Billy and the Boingers. I'm a Boinger. Do I dare listen to this? Skip into the middle of it. Okay, it's a punk song. Get it? Hey, hey Barrels. Uh, who'd I miss? Who'd I miss? You're so lame. You turn off the screens when I turn them off. Because Windows and Display Sports standards sucks. And they move your windows around. And they put into sleep mode. Oh, that used to happen to me. But I figured out how to fix it. That's annoying, Lee A2. Ubuntu has screensavers by default. Oh, that's cool. Sometimes you put YouTube background videos on your extra monitor for ambience. Oh, like, uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. The closest thing is like YouTube stuff. Hey, Tabasco. And hey, then crumbs. And they'll acknowledge us. <laughs> the corporate overlords of Adrenus will acknowledge us. <laughs> Buy a coffee table book about screensavers. Yeah, that'd be cool. I want to look, find the more obscure ones. So we just got this dude. Yo, Shane, how you doing? Your fifth time through the game. Through Deadly Premonition. I've never played that one. What I think do you need? I feel like I should. We just got this dick guy, Torian Kel. All right, he was, he was in an undead army, and then he his body decayed away, but then we restored it with some dragon blood. He's a thousand years old. He's a melee guy. We got to get him some uh, weapons and armor. What do you need? And such, I think. He's got a scimitar. Uh, we got it. Okay, so we just finished a dungeon. Oh, I'm gonna trade some stuff to him. What do you need? Yeah, thanks, Shane. Thanks for that raid. Thank you. We need to give him this ancient filament, this ancient pocket watch. We might use these even though we don't do technology stuff. I'll give him these keys. Um, I'll give him this rifle. He probably won't use it. Should I give him these gauntlets? All right, you can have the light fingered gauntlets. I'll organize this a little bit. The dragon pool keys. I don't need those, but I'll let him hold that so he can feel useful. Let him hold them so he can feel useful. Organize this inventory a little bit here, you know? Let's, organ Let's shine these up here. Let's shine up this inventory. Okay, it looks good. Muir coin, he can hold that too. I bet we'll never use those. We'll sell the sapphire. We gotta identify this and this. It's amazing. Hey, Angel Snowfall. Hey, John Big Booty. Hey, hey, Stuart. And Bog, good morning. So you played that five times? Oh, we don't really need these scrolls. Create, summon undead. Dominate will. I'll keep quench life. I guess I'll keep that. It's an insta-kill. Disperse magic. I'll disperse your, you. Got him. We need these glasses to see the entrance to the wheel clan uh, hideout. And that's where we're going next in our discovery and our journey to figure out what happened to these dwarf dudes and the, with the steam engine who invented the steam engine. Hey beard, more fartano of squeakers and toots. It's my favorite game. My favorite game. Oh, by the way, if you're out there, I got gifted a copy of Nazi hentai on steam recently. Thanks, Pero, if you're out there. Thanks for the gift of not Nazi hentai on Steam. Thank you so much. What up, Hoff uh, Hoffman? Hello. You recommend Deadly Prevenition? You suspect I'd love it. 
It seems like I would. I don't know why I never played it, but yeah, I have to put it. I gotta push it up the list, Shane. Thanks. Is it an ancient rifle? No, that isn't. We have a we have in, we have ingredients for one. Let's identify these things. Crap! I knew it was gonna be a damn cursed axe. Everything in this game is cursed. Every damn item in this game that you pick up that is needs to be identified, it's got to be at least half of the items are cursed items. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I see. Maybe there's a reason for that. So this this weapon actually has massive amounts of damage. It does 6172 damage, which is huge. It's very slow and it's a chance to cast haste on enemies. Hmm. Wait, maybe orange doesn't mean cursed. No, I think orange means cursed. But maybe it, it's... I, maybe I didn't realize need? that before, that it, it's balancing it another power. How many wizardry games do I have? All of them, probably. All the ones that I can have purchase on digital distribution. Distribution. Yeah, hentai not... I'm not gonna play it, but I accepted the gift. Gift it. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to play it. It's number five on Steam. Oh, is it a really popular game, Otterific? Oh, maybe it's good? Let me look at this shield. Hmm. Okay, maybe I didn't understand what orange meant. I thought orange meant curse, because there's always a bonus for your enemies. This is really high damage. Let me look at this guy's... What do you need? Like, look at this guy's weapon. This guy's weapon is two through ten damage. This what is guy, it that you want of me? This guy's weapon... Is one through eight. Oh, it might be worth it to give this guy this axe and just try need? it out. Have him use this. It does so much damage. It's massive amount of damage. 61 through 72 damage. I also got a mystic dagger. Can I do a wheel? No. This mystic dagger might be better than this guy's weapon. Me? This guy's weapon is 1-8. It's Mystic Dagger. It's 10-13. Yo. It's not, no, don't. Stop it. There you go. Use that. You better not switch it out when I give you these other weapons to hold on to. Actually, I'm not going to give you these. I'll give you these, but you better not... Give me this. You better not switch out weapons. Use that Mystic Dagger. It's better. Nazi hen yeah, I get it. I, w I wouldn't want to see Nazi hentai either. I couldn't I couldn't make myself play a game called that. I don't think. Hmm, back up. Back up uh, staff here. I gotta identify this armor. A small charmed plate mail. We don't have anyone that can wear this as far as I know. Small means it's for dwarves. We don't have any small people. So we'll have to sell this. We'll have to go sell this. We'll have to, we'll have to go to Tarrant and sell this. <laughs> I'm gonna play it, watch this download progress. I wonder if it actually, it's just a joke game, or if it actually has like, nudity and stuff. It's number five because it's five cents. Oh, it's really cheap, oh, okay. It's trash. Randomly put together assets and Unity Camel played it. Oh, okay. So it's playable on Twitch. So I didn't. It's a meme game. Some kind of a meme game. Hey, Athena. Okay, now we check. What's up, Eel? It's not a good game. It's cheap and silly that people are buying it in droves. Got it. Understand now. I understand that now. Alright. I don't feel as bad about owning it now. <laughs> Thank you, Pier Piero. Thank you for the meme game. It's a joke game, okay. Anime rules, oh, you made it black and white. Nice one, Tabasco. You spy this, thank you. And we teleport over to, actually, let's not teleport. Let's teleport to the Dungeon of Dragon Pool. No, the Lair of Velar or Drim. And then we'll walk our asses to the Wheel Clan. The Wheel Clan hideout. We're continuing the main story of the game. We're looking for these group of dwarves. Uh oh. I've been seriously hurt, man. What? Please help me. 
Excuse me? What happened here? This guy just died. Those random- these were-rats just killed my guy. Everything we just did, we have to redo. Wait, do I have resurrect? Do I have a resurrect scroll? Oh no. I have seven points, I can get resurrect and resurrect him. I'd have to put five points that I don't want to put. Oh well. Or it's either that or reload. Should we do that? That's probably okay, right? Now we don't have to worry about anybody dying. Plus now I can heal if I need to. I can halt poison, protect myself from the undead. I guess that's alright. We were gonna try to get, um... Yeah, we need haste and tempest fujit. I don't think we really need this dominate will sp spell. That's what I was saving up for. I'm fine with that, so we don't have to reload. Let me save the game. Did I, did I save my game? No, I didn't. So we have to redo all that. I, I'd rather... I'd rather get resurrect than redo all, everything we just did. Crap. Let's put it back on turn-based. That's weird, because that's never happened to me before. We've been pretty strong otherwise. That was some loud crickets. Like the bad rats game. People gift other people the game for the... For the lull. Okay. The, it worked. The lulls worked on me. I thought it was some kind of awful, horrible game. It seems to me that you're looking for answers. Perhaps it is time that I answered them for you. Ever considering streaming Fallout 1? Yeah, I played Fallout 1 and 2. Like, last month, couple months ago. Two months ago. My Fallout 1 playthrough got, uh... It's not on Twitch anymore, because I didn't highlight it. But I'm gonna- I need to upload it to YouTube, I guess. Or maybe to Twitch. That's why Dominate will. Rika. Dominate. Yeah, it was just about two months ago since it just got deleted off Twitch. Dear greetings, Traveler. Who are you? Don't you know? Are you not the reincarnation of Nazareth? Has it been so long that you don't recognize your old nemesis? Or perhaps you're not the living one after all. Merely a puppet playing his role. The reincarnation of Nashardin. Okay, so we're finally getting into the story of who we are. Possibly. Yeah, playing Fallout 1 and 2 was what made me realize that I can play these types. I can stream these games and they're fun. So that's what made me want to stream this. The Fallout 1 VOD is not on Twitch. Or it's not anywhere right now. What are you talking about? I see. Perhaps you are not the living one. Perhaps Nazarin, the coward that he is, will not heed fate's call and face me in the final battle. It would be so like him to do so. Nazarin is someone fighting against this dude? I am he of the dark, the rightful ruler of this land, the vengeful god of Arcanum and its races. I am Aronax, and I have come to give you a message. Aranax, we've heard that name before. What's the message? The message is this. Whether you are a living one or not, whether or not the coward Nazarin hides in your bones or still rots in his grave, the inevitable will still come to pass. I am returning. It has already been set in motion, and there's nothing you can do about it. I am returning, and all will fall before me. Everyone you know, everyone you love. Boring. Hey, Felaheen. It's a gag gift your potential employers see in your library. I'll never get that job. Let me just check your Steam library to see what games you own. Hey, Felaheen. Hey, Trevo. What's up, Gorhoff? Hentai is the key to get you and getting your 25 cent game sold. Hentai Minesweeper. Okay, Hentai Puzzles. So you just put Hentai in your Tyler game. What if I do like Hentai... I don't know, Hentai Dress Up game. <laughs> Let's make one of those, that'd be pretty easy. Anybody wanna make one of those with me? I need someone to do the art and the programming. I'll be the face of the game. Wait, I have nothing to do with this. It'll just be like a dress up game. Hentai number munchers. <laughs> Good morning, Trevo. 
Uh, yeah, you're coming back and blah blah. All right, you bastard faced me as a warrior. Do you see my bow? Oh gosh. Do you yet understand? Perhaps Kill my I need to be more clear. No one is safe, traveler. No one. Not even you. He killed my friends. Arid Axe. Remember what I have shown you here. Killed me. Remember and tell the world. Aronax is returning to Arcanum, and nothing, nothing will ever be the same. Sounds a little bit like Michael Dorn. Oh, he didn't kill us, he took our stamina. That son of a... So Aronax, so there's... So we're finally getting into... What I was wondering if this game had more of a story to it than the thing with the dwarves. And it does, there's this Aronax guy, and I might be his... The reincarnation of his enemy type thing. Okay. Carol Burnett hentai could be good. Hentai SNES ROMs where it's at. That's the first time I ever encountered um, that kind of thing. Like back in the day where you, we where you first were able to download like Super Nintendo ROMs and just looking through them, and then I was like, oh sweet, a Neon Genesis Evangelion game. And then it wasn't a Neon Genesis Evangelion game. It was Neon Genesis Evangelion hentai. Or I don't I don't remember if it was hentai specifically like nude or like um, like skimpy clothing. I don't know. I, I turned that off pretty quick. It freaked me out. But as a kid, I didn't really want to see that. As an adult, it's okay. It's not hard to seduce teenagers on Twitch with fifty cents. Yeah, everyone's got fifty cents. You send. So we used this glasses, so now we could see the entrance. If I take them off, like, do I need to keep these? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I don't need to keep these. Okay, that's good. We needed those glasses to see the entrance. We had to make them and by finding a jewel. Uh, let's wait an hour and rest our stamina back up. Or whatever it's called. What's it called? What's it called? Fatigue. Fatigue. Now we also have stasis. I gotta remember this. And hasten. And congeal. Congeal time. Golden Girls hentai. <laughs> See how much some of those hentai artists make on Patreon? Well, like 20, 30 bucks a month. Hey, Mia TV. Hello. Thanks for that host. I'm gonna say, as a proud owner of Slappy's Butt Barn, there will never be a hentai version of your fine product. Stick to your guns, Barfy. Stick to your guns. Hentai poop in your soup. Hmm. Hey, Goo Diesel. Bootlegged NES? It was SNES. Yeah. I've never seen Lara Croft. Hentai. Although, to me, just the game is... Hentai. <laughs> Hold, what business have you seen in the caverns of the wheel clan? Speak. I come with grave news. Tell the guard your story. Okay. Told the guard. Yeah, it's weird and dithered. Like, I still remember it. I don't remember exactly what it looked like, but I remember being, like, weirded out. Like, this is not ne a Neon Genesis Evangelion game. I see. This is grave news indeed. You need to speak with King Thunderstone. His house is directly northeast of here. Just through the center passage. Speak with him and he will know what to do. Thanks. So what we're trying to do is talk to these dwarves about if they know where the Black Mountain Dwarves are. The Black Mountain Dwarves sold the secret of the steam engine to this guy, to this human, and they were disgraced by it, so they exiled themselves. But strangely, the strange thing about it is that these elves helped them exile themselves. So there may be something more to the story, because elves and dwarves don't get along. Smoking jewels. Smoking some jewels. That's which, where do we go? Where do you want me to go? So this is the Wheel Clan Dwarves. They might know something more about it. Hmm, this is a big place. Heavy wood door. Right, let's go through in here. What do we got in here? Anything good in here? No, there's nothing in here. Is this going to be a big empty place with nothing in it? What's this? Here's an inventor over here. Let's go talk to him. Stick to your butts and stick to your guns. In the wrong hands, genitals can be scary. Yeah, sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, uh, dev, ha dev hands. Gabe and personally approved Nazi hentai, you think? I'm gonna play your NES Nintrindo? Sure. Uh, hey, Braxton. Lockchamp. Lockchamp to you. 
The inventor suddenly seems to realize something about you. Oh dear, you cannot come into my shop, maid. Surely you know the effect your aura will have on my fine instruments. Forget it. I forgot. And even down here, we can't can't go anywhere as a mage. This guy's got nothing on him. Oh well. So this is a big tech guy. But we can't uh, can't do anything because since we are magicians. Let me... If we're heavy tech, can we not go in the magic shops? I feel like it's a lot work. Magic is really strong, but it's also like... I think it's more interesting to do... Or pick, pop, pick lock. I think it's more interesting to do tech in this game. Because it's so unique compared to any other game. Like, n n there's no other game that has tech like... Oh jeez, there's all this crap in here. Small steam engine. Alright. Electrical harness. Well, this guy has a lot of uh, ingredients in here. Explosive decoy. This tech system in this game is very interesting. That's what I'm saying. 500 gold. Cool. Well, I wonder if we need this steam engine thing. Or these are probably just rare parts. If you're tech savvy that you can get for free if you unlock that thing. What do you need? Well, if we need a small steam engine, we know where to get it. Sentai means sex here does have to mean tentacles. I don't know exactly what it means. I thought it just meant naked people. I don't exactly know what that word means. Well, this guy will tell me to leave too. Yep. Let's go see what he's got in his back room. Hey, Duke Live. This is a good game, yeah. Very good game. Dun, 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 dun. So. Oh, he caught me. The other guy caught me, this guy caught me, the other guy did not caught me. So we, we're, we're this mega hottie, and we've got this dread barbarian armor now, we're this mega hottie. We got this old dude, he's a thousand years old, and we have our familiar that we, that we summon and hang out with. Those are all our bros. We have two bros, herbalist. What do you have? Oh, what's this, um, explosive decoy? I like this tech system's pretty neat. I think we should have done tech. I just, I had never tried magic in this game. I'm pretty sure I did tech last time I played, so I wanted to try magic. But I'm, I'm slowly seeing that tech is where it's at in this game. What do we just pick up? You can make automatons, you can make this cool ancient gun. A reanimator. This cool ancient gun. This automaton. This explosive decoy. It, it, it It's an explosive decoy. It shoots explosive grenades. Oh, cool. That's cool. Hey, Braxton. You know of any other game that uses tech? I mean, like, the, I was thinking, there are other crafting systems, but... This one, this one's is cool. Oh, well. If we play it again in, like, five years, we'll do tech. Well, I should probably try to figure out where I'm supposed to go for my main quest. I guess this is technically a whole town down here with stores and everything. Maybe there's, I wonder if there's any mages. It's just not the same as the magic system. The magic system is, is like, in this game, is you have your spells and these are all the spells, right? But then you have the tech system where you can spend your points to get recipes, but then you can also find rare recipes. I don't think you can find rare spells. So it's not, or, or like unique spells that you can't get through your tech tree. So it's not as cool as the tech system. But it's still a cool game. You want to play this? Yeah, you should. Never been crazy about this style of inventory? Well, luckily, it's not like Diablo where you pick up a ton of crap. You don't have to pick up a ton of stuff. You really don't. It's, this inventory is, can be really annoying, but it's actually fine. If, as long as you realize you don't need to hoard stuff. You're not picking up a ton of stuff. You can leave it all on the ground. There's no point in picking it up. I have tons of money and I, I have been leaving a lot of stuff on the ground. Hey, Lone Swordsman. Is your inventory limited? Mine's limited. Mine's is limited. Hentai means pervert in Japanese. Oh, okay. Nice. I swear deadly premonition was given away. Mm, I don't know. Gog? Maybe it was Gog. Gog tends to do a lot of the giveaways. Um, but dumb. 
I don't remember that off the top of my head. Whoa, look at this. You can make Shrek's pistol. <laughs> Angelica, good morning. Hello, how you feeling today? Vicky, good morning. Hello, how are you? Thanks for that follow along. Yeah, I, I tuned in to Angelica as well for a little bit. Then I got pulled away by my child. Grim Fandango. Oh, Nicholas. Oh, redeemed best friend earlier. Grim Fandango steals away the best friend title from Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas, I hope you enjoyed it. While you could. But now we've got another best friend in the mix. Grim Fandango. Yeah, you'll regret that, Grim Fandango. I mean, we did determine that anyone that redeems it becomes the best friend. And, um... So everyone has a level 1 best friend that redeems it. And you can redeem it again to get a level 2. Well, let's go in here. Yeah, here we go. This game has really cool art, too. It's kind of pla like Planescape Torment-esque, but less uh, ethereal, weird, underworldly. Dun, 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 dun. I'm alright, Angela. I'm Malachi. This dwarf noble. Let's save and see if this dude knows where the dwar uh, dwarves went. Strange crab you have there, Traveler. It's been years since I've seen the trappings of a barbarian. I'm, I don't believe we've met. I'm Randver Thunderstone, son of Loghair Thunderstone. I stand as the chieftain and king-in-waiting of the dwarves, both under and over and under mountain in the lands of Arcanum. Welcome to the Caverns of the Wheel Clan. A pleasure. I have a few questions. Of course, what do you need? You said you're king-in-waiting? Yeah, my father's unavailable and I rule in his stead. But I'm not the true king, and will not be as long as my father lives. I'm only a king in waiting. Okay. I have news with a most dire nature. Dire nature? Of what are you speaking? I have a tale to tell. Tell him what has happened. Let's go over it real quick. We crashed in a blimp, and then this gnome gave us a ring, and he said, bring it to the boy. Turns out that gnome was a dwarf. He was disguising himself as a gnome. A dwarf in the Black Mountain Clan. The Black Mountain Clan was banished because they sold the secret of the steam engine technology to the humans. And then for some reason, they like found they were disgraced. And they banished themselves. But some elves were involved with their banishment, so it was weird. It's like, I bet the elves controlled them to, to do it. Probably. And now we're trying to find them to figure out what's going on. And apparently, as we learned before we went into this cave, we're possibly... A, uh, an avatar of some god, Nasrudin and Aranax is going wants to fight us behind school, behind the schoolyard, after school, behind the gym after school, a Hunger Games style tournament, and put all best friends somewhere and let them kill each other to be one, your one true best friend. We could do that if anyone wants to kill each other to become the one true best friend. I'm down with that. You don't have points to become best friend level three, but it was a waste. Well, Level 1, you feel, might have been a waste, but you don't know what level 2 is all about, Vicky. And you, you didn't know, level 3, no one's ever thought about being there before. Dark Nature is your favorite Zeppelin song. Oh, I don't listen to that kind of music. So you're the best friend, now, what now? Welcome, Grim. Welcome. Welcome to the ranks. How many best friends are there? Maybe 7 or 8. I haven't really been keeping track. I guess you can keep... Is there a list of who redeemed what? You're saving for anime kisses if Dave ever cashes in for best friends. You can instantly depose him. Welcome, Grim Fandango. Best friend. You have that title. It's like uh, it's like an achievement. Achievement unlocked. Best friends. You have a title now. You can put it in front of your name. And everyone knows. I have a title to tell. Tell them what happened. I see. And you say you've come to the Isle of Despair to confirm the story of Gundman Orbender? Yes. I was there and there was no sign of the Black Mountain Clan Dwarves. This troubles me, my friend. We were given assurances by Alberic. Assurances. Bloody meddling. Oh, blast them all to the dark depths. Blast who? The elves? What's going on here? This is an old and dark business. The business of my father. And as I am his heir, it falls to me to make it right. But I know not what to do. He told me so little. What happened to your father, Randver? Visibly shaken. My father. Great and solid log hair Thunderstone, King of the Dwarves. Do you know of him, stranger? The stories of his courage, of his strength, of his wisdom? My father, stone among stones from out of the madness of the clan wars, he united us under one banner, under one king, through the sheer power of his will. Uh, hey, syllogism. 
There's only one best friend. Well, I don't know. I haven't decided that yet if there's one best friend or if everyone gets the title best friend. There's a twist on their popular 1973 Dire Maker. Yeah, I don't know. I never listened to uh, the Blimp Band. Hey, Syllogism. Hey, Machine Hugs. 99.9% of players are in this achievement. Yeah, best friends are basically like Olive Garden gift cards. It's basically the same concept, if that makes sense. Uh, hey, Weathered. Where's he, Ranveer? What happened to him? It broke his heart, that heavy stone heart. He who warred against Lorik the Abjur in the Pass of Gorgoth, who in victory burned Lorik alive, along with 10,000 of his dwarven followers, and this, this broke him like a child upon the stones of the world. I'm doing voices again. What, what does any of this mean? He, he fought against Lorik in the Pass of Gorgoth, who burned Lorik alive. Please, Ranver, I need to know what happened here. All right, enough with this crap. It is as the Orbender told you. My father permitted the banishment of his own people by the elves. He watched them sent away. He heard their cries with hardness born of a hundred generations of, thund of thunderstones. So he allowed the elves to banish his people. Where is he? My father came home and upon his knees cried out for his lost foolish brethren. Tears of regret, stranger. Regret, shame, and sorrow. The caverns shook with his fury, shook at the impact of his hands upon bare stone. He tore the clothes from his body and set his bulk against the walls and the floors, and his sorrow was marked in blood. Ay, 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 this guy spit it out. Spit it out. He caught me. And then. I told you, he left us, walked into the old caverns with nothing but harrow. First axe of the thunderstones. And with that weapon, he disappeared, exiled by his own grief, and left the wheel clan. He's never returned. Okay, so he walked into old caverns with his axe, and he never returned. He was sad about letting the Black Mountain dudes get exiled or some shit. It's itself is a twist on Jamaica and Cockney joke that concludes. Did you make here? Oh, I don't listen to the Blimp Band, Fellaheen. I never heard the... I've never listened to that band. That, what, they, they're a blimp? They play in a blimp? Hey, Travo, am I doing silly voices? A little bit. <laughs> Jersey talk worker. Oh, I'm sorry, what did the elves have to do with this? The elves was they who demanded the banishment of the Black Mountain Clan for their crimes. But as for the reasons I said, I know very little. My father never told me the details of his discussions with them. Only that what had been decided was necessary, and that the responsibility would be his. What crimes? What did the Black Mountain Clan done? Technology! Manipulation of natural force, the stone and gear works that make men gods. This, our legacy, given into the hands of reckless children. And the disease has spread and the cost, stranger. Oh, the bloody cost. Chicken about him talking about giving humans the steam engine, big mistake. Who, Gilman Spunk of Gilbert Bates? Gilbert Bates was the guy who got rich off the steam engine. Bates. It was Bates who spread technology and its disease, and who are we to blame him? Humans, cursed with brevity, lacking patience, lacking discernment. I've spent human lifetimes deciding on what type of stone to use in a mural. And look what they've done in only a few turns at a moon. And with these elves came to us, speaking of punishments. Who were these elves? Uh, excuse me, guy, I'd like to do some adventuring here. Excuse me, speak faster. I have no idea, and, and I know not why my father felt it necessary to speak with him, nor to hear their demands. Ooh, God. Mac, thank you for the prime sub. Happy Arcanum Day. Three months of subs. Appreciate that, Mac. Thank you very much. As king, my father never should have allowed them to interfere, but for some reason he allowed it. He's never spoken a word about it since. Here in the game, the phrase Dire Nature sent me down to this unappreciated world of solid gold posts. Yeah, I've never listened to that Zeppelin band, that, that blimp band. Voice acting on point today, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Gaben's the guy that got rich off the steam engine. <laughs> he got real rich off it, too. Coffee. Caff coffee. It seems I'll have to speak with Log Hair. What is he? Where is he? I told you he exiled himself. He walked into the dredge and never returned. The dredge? What is it and where can I find it? The dredge is an old system of caverns. A mine, actually. Not far from here. 
The entrance is just beyond the entrance to these chambers and to the southeast. There you'll find a stone archway. Beyond that you'll find a dredge into which my father disappeared. What can I expect to find in this dredge? Right now it serves a little purpose, but to house an assortment of foul creatures. There are mine cart tracks and an occasional storeroom. No one ventures there anymore, so I don't know anything beyond that. Can, you must know where he is. Can I convince you to tell me? I got no idea where he is. If you're looking for him, you got to find him in the dredge. I'll tell the guards there to let you pass. I hope you find the answers. I see. You must go your own way. Yeah, 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 yada, yada. The dredge, the guards of the dredge will let you in. Okay. Thank you, Macass. Thank you for that primer. For that primer sub. By the way, primer. Great movie. So wait, outside or inside? At outside or inside? Out of the out of here or in here? Out of your inny. Out of, out of here or in here? Out here or in here? To the southeast, southeast? Uh, over here? Or outside? In the caves or not in the caves? Over here? No, I think that's just stairs. Over here more? Guards for the... Does this look like? Maybe? Maybe over here. Maybe those guys... But don't look like they're really guarding that door. Oh, dwarf towns and games. They're always the worst. Because the dwarves always have to live underground. They can't just have a normal city like anyone else. So you just got to run through tons of tunnels. John Big Booty. Slam dunk. Thank you. You know what I mean? Anyone else hate dwarf towns and games? Because it's always dumb tunnels instead of like... You got to run around and... Oh my God, it's hard to figure out what's what. Alright, what do we got here? Unlocked, huh? Nothing. Nothing. It's probably there to let you uh, put place things. Nothing, honey. What are you eating? Nothing, honey. Wasn't that a cereal commercial? Nothing, honey. Nothing. You should eat something. I'm eating nothing, honey. And it wasn't for like nuts and honey cereal. You know, I'm having a go, but this is for the kids so they won't grow up. <laughs> Ignorant is such an important topic. Blimp versus Zeppelin. Okay, I'm interested in this. Blimp versus Zeppelin, what's the difference? Okay, I'm down to read this. Blimp versus Zeppelin, what's the difference? Um, when in doubt, think of Led Zeppelin. Zeppelins are heavy metal. Wait, both, both blimps and Zeppelins work by being lighter than air. They're filled with a gas that's lighter than oxygen. I'll give you a gas that's lighter than oxygen. So they go up like hot air balloons, but balloons can't be steered. Realizing this, German Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin decided... I'm already falling asleep. Decided he wanted to devise a dirigible balloon for use in military reconnaissance work. Uh, just tell me what the difference is. Just tell me what the difference is. This article did not tell me the difference. This article didn't tell me the difference. It's not in this article. Zeppelins have metal skeletons, blimps don't. Okay, got it. I just wasn't reading it. Zeppelins have metal skeletons. That's hence Led Zeppelin. Easy on the dwarf racism. Oh, with the underground towns? I like the dwarf town in Might Magic 7. Because the dwarves blocked the tunnels, so they had to yell. Oh, oh yeah, I remember when you, you can yell in that game, Nat Belmont. It's funny. Might and Magic. I was thinking of replaying Might Magic 6. I started to think of it. It'll probably happen in a couple years. We still have to play 3. I think that might be the next RPG we play, Might and Magic 3. There we No, That's where you get in. Remember here? What do you say to the southeast and the guards will let me through? Maybe it tells me in the journal. Frenzy, hello. The couple from the nut and honey commercial eventually divorced. Oh, it was nuts and honey. What are you eating? The little wife said, what are you eating? Nut and honey. Well, you got to eat. I'm eating nut and honey. Well, you got to eat something. I am. I'm eating nut and honey. Not yet, Travo. Hey, Killing Moon. I haven't saw the lights on the Goodyear blimp. Laguerre disappeared into the caverns of the dredge. I gotta find this dredge. Is it out front or is it inside? The balloons can't be steered. They said it right there. Well, I don't have time to read. All right, a whole million articles. I got games to play over here. What did he say? I think it was in there. They said the guards will let me through. All right. 
They give the answer at the end. It didn't. They gave the answer at the beginning. That's why I got confused. You want to go in a balloon, but it's scary. It is scary because you have to. You're going up high, and what if the balloon pops? What if a, what if someone throws a pin at it? Then all of a sudden you're dead. All right, bad choice. And you can't you can't revive yourself. You can not go in a hot air balloon, but you can't revive yourself if the balloon pops and you die from being in the balloon. So what's the choice? You go in, do you take a chance of death? Of something irreversible? Or do you not? I say don't. Is this the dredge? I think we found it. A blimp used to move with the winds like a hot air balloon. Uh, uh, Zeppelins change that. Oh! Zeppelins can steer? A blimp is a person who starts KFC. A Zeppelin's a badass rock and roll band. That's a good difference. You're going through Wizardry 8? We are going to play the Wizardries. I definitely want to do 7 and 8. 6, I'm not sure. Macass, I've done Lands of Lore 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, I liked all of them. I like them. My Marklar Unplugged Solo. Mm -hmm. That was Might Magic 6, I think. Arfie's flying his toasters to victory. Uh oh, what's going on with these guys here? Oh, they got stuff to sell and take. I don't put these. I got stuff in here. <laughs> that is not the chest closing. That's me. What's the deal with these? Uh, this minor circle here. Greetings, wild woman. Why are you speaking to me so? A dwarf sees many things down here in the mines, but I can't say as to how I've seen a more repulsive creature than you. Be gone from me. Can't we resolve our petty differences? Well, I suppose I can. Who are you? I'm Arvid Millstone, and I'm the foreman here in the wheel clients. Wheel, wheel mines. It's the best RPG ever made. Wizardry 8? Okay. We are going to play 7 and 8 at least, and we'll probably play 6 too. I don't know about the earlier ones. Because are those even in English? Or they are, right? But they're... I don't know how to play Wizardry 1 through... They are. They're on the old computer, right? Why do I think they're not in English? But they're really old. 1 through 5. Vampire the Masquerade. Redemption. We well, probably won't play that ever. Right. They want you to click through a million times before you actually know the answer. That, you don't click on the lists of 10 things. You gotta click through 20 pages to see the 10 things. Is it really the best RPG ever made? Why, Danny boy? If a hot air traveling device hits a warm pocket, you drop like a stone. Oh, jeez. Now I'm never going up in the balloon. They should have little... Oh, yeah, they should have little parachutes. Yeah, balloons. Yeah, they should. That's true. Why don't they super stand? Maybe you could make a fortune. Thanks for the host, Stephanie. Maybe we should make personal air balloons. Yeah, why have we never done that? It seems like it would be so easy to make a floating... To, like personal air balloons where we float around instead of our stupid cars a pleasure why are all these miners standing here there's some trouble in the mines we blasted a new tunnel and then there's something bad and evil down there all right you need some assistance yeah all right i'll do it i can't offer you anything but the dwarves of the wheel clan will be happy i'll do it i'll do it for the xp thank you kindly yeah 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 good day I think the evil playthrough of this didn't really work out. Because it seems like being... Well, it did kind of work out. Having low reputation worked out because we got this evil guy. The other evil guy we got sucked. I think maybe if you need what bad reputation need? for this guy to join you, it worked out. But a lot of the times it seems like doing the evil choices in this game is just just means not taking quests, or just murdering everyone. I guess it's a little better than Baldur's Gate. Well, these are tough spiders. Widower. 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 Are there more spiders over here? Oh, oh boy. Next. What is this thing? You missed this as for the name Blimp. It dates back to 916 and mimics the sound made when the balloon is thumped with a finger. Blimp, 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 blimp. That's a cool, that's a fun fact. We got more spiders or what we got here? Okay, let me look. Where are we gonna go? Oh, here we go. A dread crystal spider. Alright, I'm down to kill that thing. I think that's what they're talking about. An extra little quest in here. I assume this is where the dredge is or whatever they're talking about. 
Oh no, a trap. Hey, you go, team. Dwarven steel. This will be bigger than dwarven steel. Air balloons give off too many fossil fuels. Oh. I'm sorry. Now, what I don't get is if all these museums that are like hurting for money, they're, they have fossils, right? So why don't they sell them as fuel? Cure poison. You know what I mean? Like, why just let all the fossils sit in your uh, museum instead of selling them as fuel? Make a fortune, probably. Hey, Claus, the best RPG is not going to be Western. Oh, what do you think it is? Oh, goodness. What do you think it is? Chrono Trigger? Final Fantasy VI? I can agree with that. Could be. I don't know. I feel like Baldur's Gate is like better. Baldur's Gate series is the best RPG ever made. Move you up in balloon. Because <laughs> there's nowhere to park the balloon. We could deflate it and then all this there's a little cart. It's smaller than a car. Do it for the XP not because you want to is evil. Okay. Works out then. Okay, there's a dread spider over here. I'm a little bit scared of him. Oh, wait. What's that? Is this not the evil? There's a whole area over here. Dong, 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 dong. Oh, I got trapped. I got hit with a trap. Emerald ring. Let's get this fatigue restorer. And we'll use it right now. Kidoki. Hey, Sinertia. Being able should be fun. Should You shouldn't have to give up quests. Alright, should... are we in real time right now? Okay, we're gonna real time this spider to death. Whoops, we're not in real time. Okay, real time it. Oh, it's got a lot of health. I died. I've been seriously hurt. What? I don't even know what hurt. I don't even know what killed me. I don't even know what killed me. Uh oh, here comes. Okay, try to get him. Click, 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 click. He's got a lot of health. Got him. And what else we got? Another. I ran out of. All right, we well, used up all my fatigue, but I got it. That was a tough enemy. Space stop and go lights, like floating ones. Dread crystal spider. Nailed it. Hey spider. What do you think about murdering spiders if they're evil? Is there such thing as an evil spider? You like the evil NPCs in Bowder's Gate? I need to replay Bowder's Gate too. I don't remember it. I know it's my favorite, one of my favorite games of all time, but I don't remember it that well. Brain Builder. Some rough cut emeralds. Lava rock. A brain builder. What's a brain builder? Brain Builder. Where would that be? Here? Brain Builder. With Brain Builder, you can have that gray matter for the small price of your physical prowess. It needs a Mind Marvel and a Pete's Carbolic Acid, so it like... <laughs> okay, it, okay, so you can become more intelligent at the cost of... I don't know why you'd use that as a techno whiz. JRPG is too short. Chrono Fantasy 6 is pretty good. Chrono Fantasy 6 and Chrono Trigger are pretty good. Your favorite JRPG is Seven Saga. I never played that one. There's other stairs up over here. I don't know which one I am supposed to take for the quest or to get to the Dread. I wanted to go to the Dread. What's the Dread? Oh, I don't think so. And those other stairs would probably be the ones over here. Hmm. How do I get to the Dread? I don't know how to get there. Which I go back downstairs. Turn in that quest. Maybe there's a way to get to the dread here. I don't know how to get to this place because these damn tunnels. Dwarven, damn dwarven tunnels. It's always so you get lost. What's the deal with Seventh Saga, Stephanie? Planescape Torment resonated with you. Yeah, it does have a cool story. I should finish that at some point. All spiders are evil. Just in their nature. They run away a lot. They don't attack you, though. Or like, um... I've never been attacked by a spider. Though they do... Oh, and they build all those webs all the time. 
and you're always walking through them and then you like got covered in their web. They probably laugh every time that you walk through one of their webs. Got some gold, got a decent gold ring. A lot of gems under here. We don't need this stuff because we don't tech. Let's go see if we just turned in the quest. Can I turn in the quest? Spiders are friends and always good. Oh, I thought they were evil. If you're controlled by something evil, kill them. If they attack you, kill them. Otherwise, leave them alone. I like that. Can I speak with you? I killed the creatures. It was crystal and spiders, dreadful beasts. I've heard legends about dread crystal spiders. Maybe you ran into those. The wheel clan's indebted to you. Yeah, we do it for the XP. Now we've got points again. Oh, we can get Tempest Fudget. Tempest Fudget s speeds up the caster and his entire group while slowing down every other creature in the world. Well, I don't think the cave is here. I think this is just a place to do a quest. There's no other entrance other than those two... Oh, there's this. Wasn't that where I came in, though? The other? Yeah. That's where I came in from the other way. And then there's there's this staircase. Tempest Fudget. Two and a half D graphics. Hey, Yagi. Spiders want flies in their ice cream. That's all they want. They just want flies in their ice cream. Everyone thinks they're evil. Let's see. Where is the... Oh, maybe over here. They said it was in the southeast. Somewhere. Where am I? Where are my characters? Uh-oh. Okay. Here we go. Tempest Fudget. What's up, Darshan? They look innocent spiders like X's. And you can think if you leave them be, things will be cool, but they'll mess with you the moment they can. Really? And they're leaving this crap all over the place you get caught up in. It's real annoying. The web. See that after one randomly bites you and you're hooked up to an IV of antivenom antibiotics to prevent your leg from falling off. Oh, did that happen to you? All right, you can get a... I did have a, like a, might have been a bug bite on my leg once. But I went to the doctor. I have like a permanent mini dimple in my leg. Because I got some kind of a hole or something in my leg once. And I don't know what it was. I, I think it might have been a bug bite. But the doctor took care of it. I was fine. Didn't get infected or anything. Let's see if it's here. Uh, no. Over here. It said southeast, right? I don't know. How do you get, how do you get there? How do you get where they want me to go? The caverns of dredge, an old system of dwarven mines that now houses an assortment of foul creatures. How do I get there? How do I get there? I have to look it up. I forget what he said. If only I could re look at his dialogue again. Tempest Fudget. It's not here. Maybe it's here. Let me go there. Where am I? Where am I? Where my team? Team, where are you? Maybe, maybe it's here. We didn't go there. Tempest Fudget. Time flies. Fudge means fly. Hold. What's true? Where do these these go to the dredge? We found it. I got permission. All right, we found the dredge. Oh no. These were rats are what killed my bro before. Let's go. Are these were rats? Yeah. So this guy's using that cursed axe. Oh, these aren't were rats. These are just prodigious vermins. And rock rats. We'll blast away at them. Easily. And granite rats. Oh, these guys are annoying. They're rats with really high health. So this guy's using that really high damage axe that also potentially hastes enemies. You gotta, gotta be careful not to overdo it here. Do, 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 do. Granite rats. Did I level up again? No. What if the king just lost the maze? Hm, could be. He's just lost here. Probably got eaten by a rat. Your screen's big enough on your phone to make it playable. What? Make what playable? This game? Doot, doot, doot. You like when a streamer doesn't read the whole context of a comment and then just feels like, what? What are you talking about? Uh, you don't... Uh, you miss Rad Spider Facts. Yeah, Rad Spider Facts gone forever. Rad Spider Facts has disappeared. 
It was the second personality. Oh boy. What was that all about? What happened there? Dude, this, this dude just threw a big bomb at us. What happened? Jeez. Threw a big old bomb at us. Molten arachnid. Jeez, so we gotta be careful of those. There's another one over here. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Gotta look out for this molten arachnid. Level up. You're now level 33 of one point to spend. Okay, I'll spend it. Leave. Calm down. Uh, I am- oh crap, I just fell over. That's alright. Can I use this when I'm sleeping? Oh, you can! Oh boy. Look out. Doom, 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 doom. Molten arachnid shoots you with a big fireball. Well, well. There's spiders that eat bed bugs. Nice. No one likes bed bugs. There's no bed bug facts. No one cares about bed bugs. Electrical harness. Probably some kind of electrical armor you can make if you're technology, but we're magic. We're magic y. Let's put Tempest Fudget. Let's put more stuff on our bar. We haven't really been using this. Take it off. Unlocking, summon undead. We haven't used it. Take it off. Disarm, we've never used it. Take it off. Call winds. Poison vapors. We haven't used any of this. Let's put some spells we're actually going to use here. Halt poison. What spells are we going to use? Tempest fudget. We'll put that here. We can also do stasis, haste, congealed time. We'll just tempest fudget. Uh, maybe stasis for a stun. What else we got here? St summons, healing, maybe healing, summon undead, conjure spirit, charm. How about charm? No, we don't need that on the bar. All right, let's put call winds back up here. We don't have apparently we don't have very many spells. Spatial distortion. All right, let's get this arm back up here. Let's leave these two spots empty. Barfy bongo, very nice. Excellent work. Can we wait down here? No. Uh, we got lesser go rats over here. Rawr. Let me guess. Papa go wrath. Or mama. Dead. Where did we start? Okay, we started here. Alright, I just want to make sure we were filling in the map. On the map. On the map. Let's drink some potions. Drink a few potions here. Save the game. Go rats. These gorilla guys. These little mini, mini mammoths. Mini mammoths and teeny, teeny mini mammoths. Fancy ring. Pocket watch parts. Gold. We got a feral lock up here. Talking about Bowder's Gate on your screen. Head hard to get into it on the screen. Okay. You play it on your computer. I heard that's on. Isn't they put that on Switch? The um. All right, good. No more of those rock rats. Those things are annoying. What's hitting me? Oh, it's Orgolem. Ugh. Okay, I've got a drink. This and. Oh crap! I gotta heal myself too. Okay. Oh, that didn't do any damage. Did that do any damage? Trap. Yeah, these guys are annoying. Anything that's made of rock is annoying. What about fudge it? I should have. Maybe I should have cast it. Go team, go. There you go. You killed him with that axe. If you haste something, it could be. Oh crap! No. A whole team of granite. Oh, and an ore golem. All right, I gotta drink a big potion. I keep going into the menu. Uh, all right. These things. Are strong against magic or they have high health. My team's pretty good though. My team can get through this. We're having to use a lot of potions though. Hey, Metal Mayhem. Tim the Tool Man Monsters. Okay, or. Yeah, see, look. Three shots and. Not even half his health. And there's another one over here. And they're damaging weapons. They damage your weapons, they damage your armor. Alright, he killed it. Did he just teleport? 
Okay, maybe we should... Oh, he passed out. Virgil passed out. We might have to teleport out and then come back. Because I think we gotta rest up some fatigue here. Yeah, this is... There's a chest over there. How long does this go for? Oh, jeez. It goes for a while. We might have to teleport out and then come back. Because we need to rest. Can't rest. We can't rest in here. We're running low. We can't just use up all our potions. I think we have to load up some potions and come back. Let's teleport out. Let's uh, actually move these over one. And then put teleportation here. Okay. Let's teleport to the entrance. Rest. Rest everyone up. You're unconscious already. Gotta wait and then rest. Can't rest. The worst kind of spider I've seen around here is like a big black spider. Big like... Ugh. Creepy black spider that I feel like could really do damage to you if it bit you. But not you can spray and they all die. Hey Pasqua. Yeah, we'll run back in now. So to do that, we come over to this side. It's the quickest way. Or maybe here. Got your thong. Let it climb on the end of your thong. Your thong? Spider talk. Spider talk in chat. We got spider talk. And where do we go? Back up. That's yeah, talking about spiders. This is the part that ruined your melee? Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm worried about. We've got some backup weapons. His stuff is fine. He's. We've got backup weapons. We should be okay. Okay, we, we should be okay. I just have to make sure I don't lose any of my stuff. Yeah. Make sure I don't lose my stuff. I'm gonna load up on potions after you. I'm going down into the dredge. And we're going back down. Back down in. The boss is overused a half woman, half spider. Ever since you think we well, think it was Demon Souls that made that popular? Or you think it was something else? When was the first time you saw a half woman, half spider? I think that there I think there have been half woman half spiders in this game. Flip flop. Flip flop. We can go over here. I guess we will. What's in what's what kind of what kind of enemies are these? Are these molten? Oh god, it's a hell creeper. It's a hell creeper. Got him. Maybe we need to real time more. Real time these fights more. Maybe that would help. Dwarven chest. All right, getting a lot of money. We got a lot of money from rings and such here. By thong, you mean shoe? Is a thong a shoe? Yeah, can, I was wondering that. Here's some mithril ore. We could make the, um, we can actually make something. A rare thing, this gun, I think. What was it? Yeah, with this chassis and with this ore, what does this mean, 40? What does that number mean? You don't need 40 ancient gun chassis. What I hope we didn't lose the... I think we did lose the ancient gun chassis. What is it that you... No, here it is. Let's see if we can make this gun. Just to see what it is. Make. You need lack of the expertise. Does that mean I need... Where is it? Is it 40 the expertise that I need? Is that what this number means? Right? Does that mean you need like 40 technical expertise? And I have zero? Is that what that means? Where should we put our points? Oh, we forgot to get maximum willpower. We need to get that now. Dong 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 ding dong 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 ding dong. What do you You hold this. And you hold this too. Don't complain. If you complain, you're out of here. Put, turn you back to a skeleton. Run and gun. EverQuest 1. Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons, probably. Yeah, maybe Dungeons and Dragons. Run and fun, run and gun. You miss everyone's flip-flops? I don't know, Violet. Flip-flops? The shoe? Oh, a thong is a flip-flop. Oh, I got you. Okay. So a thong's like a flip-flop. It's not like your butt. <laughs> you put it on the edge of my thong. What? What? You took off your underwear and put the spider on the end of it? Need 40 in gunsmithing? 
Oh, wait. Oh, I got you. Four points in this. Damn. Okay. Okay. I see now. Okay. So you're. I thought. Okay. So that's the limits of the technology system. All right. Wait, are you sure though? Because there's. Look, a hundred. A hundred in gears. And there's no... You can't get a hundred. You could put... In gears, you can put 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Are you sure you don't need like a hundred technological expertise? Maybe you need full gears? I don't know. I don't know how many... How it works with the points. It's something... It's something in the system. Loth the Spider Queen and Driders. You think that's a... No, I don't, don't want to... Yeah, we want to real-time these enemies so they don't get up close to us. That's what we want. That's what we want, right, Sernersha? We gotta, we gotta play it like a MOBA. Little Wheels gun. What do we got? I can't see. What do you think is in that? A black chest. Oh man, who's the boss? A molten giant and a bunch of little demon shards. Am I supposed to be able to see the enemies? Did I did I accidentally turn this on in the mod? Because it's a little weird that you can just see what you're going to face. I didn't mean to turn that on if I did. What do we got? Just annihilating everything. Bomb, 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 the bomb, the bomb, the ding dong. Unlocking cantrip is now this one. And I'm like, da. And hey, vet now. I tried to play some EverQuest, but I, I just think I don't want to play an MMO right now. I don't want to play like the typical MMO. Oh, can't unlock this. That is just like, go collect 10 things and bring it back. Go kill a dude and come back and talk to me. I don't, wanna, I don't think I want to play that right now. What kind of game? Hmm. So maybe we have to get a key for this door. We can't wait. We can't wait. We want to teleport out and come back. Unless I use potions. Yes, I can use potions. That's fine. I'll use some potions. Oh no, Rockman. Or Golem. What did he just throw? Threw like a boomerang. That ruin anyone's armor? Burno War. Armor damaged. Armor damaged because of a trap. Gotta be really careful I don't lose this staff. Alright, we're alright. My armor has so much... So many... Points. This dread armor. There has to be a disadvantage to it. It has 10,000... Uh, what's it called? Durability, which is really high. It's never gonna break. Never. It'll never break. Now let's use all these little potions. I'll try to load up... Ah... Uh, Try to load up on the big potions after we get out of here. These little potions don't do much. There's no point in carrying a million of those. We should just get a lot of these big potions now. We could go to all the stores and get a bunch of big potions. Just buy them all up. Okay, this is a boss room. This is... Can nope. You can nope. You can nope. The car based MMO. Oh, a gray king is in here with wolf people. I don't know if we have, even have enough. Here, okay, here's a bunch of dead things. This is where the king is probably. He went through this passage. Okay, so that's where we're trying to go. We could just go right there, but we'll miss out on treasure. There's also this wolf. Oh my god. Jeez, look at this. There's Mongrelon. A bunch of wolf people. This is a huge dungeon area mongrelon mongrelion oh that's where we okay hold on where am i all right so i can go that's where i came from all right we came from there we can go over to wait where am i again okay right here i can go through here and this leads me to the where we need to go we can just go there and skip all the treasure. We might just do that. Or we can continue to go deeper in. 
and we fight these wolves, wolf people, bunch of werewolves. Over here, werewolf, werewolf, werewolf. Big werewolf, big old werewolf man, the Grey King. Or uh, where's that other boss room? Where in, where'd it go? This is... Oh, that's right back here. All right, we'll go there. Got it. What happened? Easy! Did you lose your armor, guy? <laughs> Golems would tear you up. We'll see. We'll see about that. We'll find him right now. I'll tear you up. Not if you're real time. We need to get that AoE. Oh, man. We need to put our points into that AoE attack. Oh, we need three points for it. It's the, it's the only good AoE in the game, I think. Squall of Ice. Squall and Cypher. Selfie. Quiztus. Quiztus of Ice. Mm -hmm. Just looks like bait. I think you just need the key. I think it's actually good. You just, maybe you get the key here. Let's kill all the little guys. Owned. Who's gonna tear who up, uh, Sinertia? You mean you, you mean like the equipment? We owned them. A typical MMO, just like kill ten foxes to get ten pelts and back and forth and back and forth. Car combat MMO will be sweet. There was one. It was called Auto Assault. I remember playing it. It was pretty fun, but it went away before I got a chance to actually get into it. Hey, Bash. We're still a ranger. Technically, we don't, we're not losing that title. Yeah, they tear your arm and weapons up. I know what you meant. Of course, you didn't mean that they were going to defeat me in battle. Of course. Not much can defeat me in battle. Ooh, fatigue restorer. We're getting a lot of money in here. All these gems, necklaces, it's worth a lot. Well, at least we got some XP and a little bit of treasure. Anything else in here? The wolves might have lower health hit points, at least, if we go fight the wolves. I want to fight that Grey King. And, hold on, I'm <laughs> sorry, just... All right. Okay, so that's a circle. That's a circle. And over here is where we're, where we're trying to go for the quest. And then if we take this other path, let's go try to go to the Grey King. Let's take this path. Let's clear out what we can. If we have to teleport out, we will. Oh, we leveled up. Yeah, let's go check out the wolves. Oh, more spiders? Little spiders. Maybe I should be letting my... Uh, group melee more instead of blasting everything instead of doing all the combat work myself my group could probably do pretty well with the fighting only 15,000 anime kisses to be my best friend we've had two best two new best friends today venom hounds yeah you guys can take care of that so much so many gems and monies so many monies and gems yeah, this will be fine, because these guys aren't as strong as the golems. Just gotta be careful I don't get killed. Since I'm leading the way here. This game loves its caves. Loves its caves. It's got some nicely designed areas, but... There are quite a bit of these caves. To also. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Of a brute fang. I'm almost, I almost got killed. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's real time this. These dread fangs hurt a lot. Okay. We gotta stay in real time. We gotta stay in turn based. All right, let's, should we just teleport out and come back? It's not that, it won't take that long. I gotta rest up, I actually can't. I don't have enough fatigue. Let's cast a spell. Do, do, do. BMC is the worst for you. Blue Black Mountain Clan? And over map explorations. Oh, what are we talking about? This game? I'm gonna play the ultimate games. One through nine. Not really planning on it. Ouch, I just stepped in a trap. Wasn't really planning on it. I'd like to play Ultima seven and eight and nine. I'd like to play those. I don't know about the older ones. I don't have any nostalgia for them because I never played them. I don't know how well they hold up if you don't. Like, if you have to learn them new today. 
I would give them a shot. I would like to give them a shot. I'm worried that they don't really, they won't really hold up. I really like, um, I really like the Might and Magic games, but one doesn't hold up. For example, it doesn't hold up too well. But it still might be. Oh. It might be fun to try them. All right, how was it costed uh, cast teleportation? I think we gotta teleport out. Rest up, yeah, let's teleport out. Rest up. Gotta wait for my uh, fatigue to come back. Older ones are up at six through nine. Six is a good place to start. I'd like, I would like to try them. I mean, everyone, they were popular for a reason. Will I play Black and White 2? I would not play it. It's not the highest on my list since it's kind of like a world, you know, um, building. Or I'd like to play Black and White 1 and 2. I like, I played Black and White 1. I've never played the second one. Um, what are they like? The world, uh, the like populist style games? So they're not on the highest of my lists, but. I do want to play them, play more strategy games, more real-time or turn-based strategy games. Or I guess that's more of like a real-time strategy game. I'd like to play more of those games like Anno or Black and White, Populous, that kind of stuff. I'd like to. Do -do -do. I like all kinds of games. First Ultimate Trilogy is very grindy. Oh, really? Grindy game? You, have to, you really have to grind? Seven is good. Seven part two is nuts. Right. I've seen Ultima Seven, and that game looks. Those games look really good. Or uh, that game, those games, because it's multiple parts and all that. How do you get back there? In the wrong uh, room. Actually, I think I'm softening my view on. Hold on, I think I, I, I took the wrong path, right? Softening my view on playing the real very antiquated games. Those can be fun. Nine has game breaking bugs. I'm good with it. I played some of my some of nine. And I definitely want to go back to it. I think I took the wrong door, right? That's the problem here. Six is fine. Eight I have a little bit of nostalgia for. That's the only ultimate game I ever bought, but I didn't really understand it when I played it. Uh, I got distracted from it, something like that. Okay, so I don't want to go in that stairway. That was the mistake. Yeah, that was my first try at Ultima. I was like, oh, everyone's talking about this Ultima. Let me try this. And I guess I apparently got the worst one. Well, other than nine. At the time, I think eight was the worst one. People don't really like eight. But I don't know why. I thought it was neat. I wanted to get Ultima online, but my dad wouldn't let me use his credit card. You own Black and White 2, never had one. Yeah, that's a it's a cool idea for a game with the creature, like having your sort of avatar creature, and then also trying to do the quests for the people, you know, the missions to help the people, all your people. What is that kind of game called? Simulation, where you're uh, like populous. What kind of what are those games called? What's that genre? Fable one and three winner. I don't know. Sometime, sometime in the next ten years. Ultima 7 and 9 are real-time, are like real-time Fallout, and you have to pay attention to party members. Okay. But uh, i assuming it's not too fast, right? So it's like real-time combat, but with no pause. You grind it a lot in 1 through 3. On monsters? Okay, so you have to level up. Alright. Okay, that's where I wanted to go. Let's gotta, we gotta go do the wolf caves. We probably, while we teleported out, Next time we teleport out, we might have to go buy more potions. I want to see what this wolf is guarding. Ultima 6 and 7 are the best. I don't know that I've seen 6. Thanks for the follow, Annie. But 7 looks like an epic RPG that you can play many different ways. Hey, Darushin. 7 is not as good as the previous. 7 Part 2 is not as good as 6 and part 7 Part 1. Alright, alright. Ouch. Okay, let me... Oh, crap. Time to go into turn-based. This is scary. Go into turn-based. You don't like 8 because it's different and it's kind of unfinished. 
It's the only one that I own the disc for. But I but I, I never played much of it. I think I I think I remember not really understanding it. I don't need any of this. So this is what I'm saying with the inventory. A lot of this stuff you just leave. And I just take all the I'm taking all the rings because I can sell them. But the other stuff, it's not worth it to pack your pack your inventory. Full of that stuff. As far as I know. Maybe it is, but I don't think it's that all that stuff is, is worth much money. Traps. Damn traps. I'm gonna my stuff's gonna break. My staff, my staff's gonna break. Ultima Online's still going. I played it, yeah, I played it a little bit. I wanted to play it back in the day, though. It's not as, you don't get the same feeling as you, you would have back when it came out. You know what I mean? I do need to play the Fables. I, I, I believe I own them all. Yeah, it's better for turn-based. Better to turn base this stuff. More gems, more gold. I don't even know if I need this gold, you know, but there might be a cool item with the near past, past this wolf guy. Not that guy. I don't even think we should go that way. Doesn't look like there's anything over there. Kill that guy. Oh. <laughs> Mongrelon is a funny name. It's, I'm a Mongrelon. Lots of unfinished areas in Ultima 8. The world is repetitive with textures. Storylines didn't get finished, but it's got a good thing going on. Okay. It's got the look of Ultima Online. Like a more 3D-ish look, as opposed to the... Like the look of 7. Oh, there's a key. V Vigard Molten Flow's key. So that's probably the key to get to that chest. Alright, this is good. This is working out here. Let me drink a potion. This is key. Uh, okay. Yeah, we need to we need to load up on potions. Save. Brute Fang. Vortex. Should we cast Tempest Fudge it? I don't know if we need to. I speed up this guy with his axe. Doesn't matter that he gets that he got slowed down from it. If Ultima 8 had been given another year, it would have been successful. It's not a good Ultima game, but it's a good game. A lot of series were, you know, as they evolved through the 90s, 80s and 90s, early 2000s, whatever, they, they would, like, kind of reinvent themselves, right? A lot of games turned out like that, like King's Quest, like King's Quest 8. King's Quest 8, I don't think, is a bad game, but it's not, like, a good King's Quest game. Based on the previous titles. I just died. We have to figure this out. Let's cast Tempest Fudge it. Let's try it. Speeds up. Did that work on my party? It was supposed to... What's going on here? Oh, we just hear these clock noises the whole time now? Okay. <laughs> well, this is a good spell. Oh, <laughs> Did it speed up my party too, or just me? We we get to hear clock ticking. Oh, look at that guy stab away. Oh, I need to drink a potion. <laughs> All right. And I'm I'm not even sped up. I'm confused. Normally with haste, I get like six moves. Maybe I just did. I didn't notice. Oh, did we kill him? No, he just got knocked down. The gray king over here. All right, 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 all right. Come on, come on. That's insane. You can't just play a constant clock noise. Release too early. Eight re release too early. Well, seven was. I mean, nine. I'm really curious about to ch to check out nine. Does it seem like it has a pretty cool world from what I played of it? Okay. All right, we won. Wh whatever happened, I think Tempest Fudge it helped. Let me cancel Tempest Fudge it. Tempest Fudget <laughs> speeds up your party and slows down the entire world. It's ridiculous. It's great, though. All right, let's see what we got here. Save. 32 gold. Machined plate mail. More mithril ore and fatigue restore. I, get this, I guess this mithril ore is rare. 
I don't think we should even pick it up. We'll, we'll never have the skill to, to make anything with it. But can my do friends do the tech though? But they maybe they won't join me if I'm a mage. Let's take this anyway. I think it, I think it's rare. Sorry about the creaking. Sorry about that. Machine plate mail. Let's look at that. Let's look at the machine plate mail that we can never make. Smithy? No. Machined plate mail. You need elite plate, minute steam works. Oh, that's the skill you need to make this. Behold the ultimate in armor's machined plate mail powered by minute steamworks. This stuff is cool. The tech stuff's cool. Hey, time for classic. Ultimate 8 is its own game rather than ultimate game. Got it. Okay. So I probably might even like it. Revert of the engine. Same assets. Oh, fan remake for ultimate 7. Really? Tempest Fudger? Uh, a little bit of the troll with the sounds, but I think it did help us win. I noticed uh, Virgil had like a million stabs on his last turn. I didn't. I didn't see how many swings Torian got. We get levels up. We got level, We got a bunch of levels. Let's max out willpower. So willpower. Oh, you can go even higher. I thought twenty was max. Let's put that at max, and then we'll go for the. Uh, we're gonna do this AOE. Two more points to get the AOE. It could probably help. Oh my god. All right, now we'll go to the main quest area. Oh, we also have to go open that cage to see what's in that chest. Hard touching. Thank you for the prime sub. Thank you for 14 months of subs. Thank you very, very much. Nine's better than eight. Nine seemed really cool from what I played. Like, in a way that I like games. Maybe not in a good game way, but in a fun to stream or mess around in the world way. Where's that cage? Over here. Yeah, we gotta go around here. See what's in this cage. Let me guess. It's gonna be some kind of cursed item. Nine's worse than the new Underworld. No way. No, what I played a nine, it was better than that. At least it at least was a game. Ultima. What was it? It's not. It's a Underworld Ascendant. It's not even a. Yeah, it did unlock that. There's a geode over here. It wasn't even a finished game on release, and it wasn't even really good. A toy train? What the hell? This must be for a quest. What do you need? A toy train? No encumbrance. All right, he can carry this stuff with no encumbrance. What's the deal with the toy train? All right, that must be quest item. What was the, what's the dude's Vigard Mountain Flow? Molten Flow. Vigard Molten Flow. Maybe we have to find that guy. Maybe that was for a quest that I never picked up out there. Because we weren't able to talk to the, all the NPCs. You were blown away that you could knead dough, make bread, and put it in the oven. Yeah, that was cool back then. Like crafting. Crafting systems were a big allure. What we got here? Crafting, I remember, yeah, I used to think craft, like you can build your own equipment. It used to be super cool. Now it's just ult. Yeah, you can craft in every game. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, good god. I don't like fighting these golems. Okay, we're not going that way. But yes, we are, because we gotta open this chest. It's right here. Some gold. So many thermometers in the chests here. Crafting used to, even I even thought crafting in WoW was cool. Like, just being able to make, make equipment as you go, as you went. Make jewelry and whatnot. Ah, where's he? Where's he? I've been damaged. Oh no! The seething mass. Ah, oh, these golems, man. We're gonna have to fight our way through them. All right, I might teleport out. Teleport out and go get some potions. I think we have to. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. Actually, let me uh, teleport over here first. Wait an hour. All right, we have to buy potions. We have to buy all the potions we can buy. These dungeons are getting uh, too excessive here. I mean, hard, difficult, a lot of enemies. There's the lady. Does she, we have anything to identify? We can also sell stuff. She's a bad person to sell stuff to, but I don't think it matters that much to me. Ugh, she doesn't have, even have any good potions. 
Okay, let's not sell to her. Let's teleport to... Back to... Tarrant. Tarrant. Go back to Tarrant. Castleton's General Store. Free Deadly Premonition was August 2015. Oh, Humble, yeah. That's the other place that does free games. August 2015th. Oh, we almost have a... We're almost going to switch over for a little bit because we've got Alex from Adrenus coming on the stream shortly. Let me check, make sure there's no messages or anything. This game, I... And we're going to play some Serious Sam 2 for a little bit. And then we'll be back. We'll come back to Arcanum after this. So let me save the game. Try Serious Sam 2. Make sure I've got no messages. No, we're good. All right. Like five minutes. We'll see. We're gonna switch over. Uh, the tiny nuances. Yeah, the Brit, Bacon Brett. It was. It seemed especially cool for an MMO. That's why I really wanted Ultima Online. The the way they um, promoted it was like it was like a whole online life, like a whole online world. You know. All right. Was, I'm just selling this. I don't care. He won't buy these rings. Sell all this crap to him, though. Buy these rings? He won't buy rings. Someone else will buy rings. I'll buy these. He won't buy that? Right, that's okay. I don't have to. Can I right click to buy? Alright, let's do that. Right click. We'll buy, the, we'll buy every bit of fatigue restore we can get. A key ring? Oh, well, apparently you can get a key ring. <laughs> I don't really need it though, because I just get rid of the keys when I'm done with them. Alright, that was the general store. Let's go buy some potions. I can't even squeaky hinges are. I got, I got, <laughs> I, I wish I had saved every game that had squeaky hinges, and those could just all be the alerts for the stream. Just, hey, nuke, hello. Ultima 9 destroys continuity. Like I always say, when I played that game, you, you can murder, you can murder children in that game. It's a little bit messed up. Mass, thanks for the raid, hello. Hello, Mast. It seemed pretty messed up. And just murder, murdering the children. So there's an amount of freedom in that game, Ultima 9, which seems appealing to me. But like I said, I haven't played much of it. Alright, we gotta buy all these potions we can. Fatigue slower. Yeah, fatigue slower. Every potion. Every motion potion. Morgana's Tears. And we'll even... Let's see, is this guy potions? No. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to take a quick break. And save the game. Hey, Ash, good morning. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in, in a... I'll be back in a minute. And then we'll probably be trying out some Serious Sam 2 with Alex if he's available from Madrinas. And we'll be doing a giveaway. A giveaway for Madrinas Fuel Cups. So we'll be checking out Serious Sam 2, a cool uh, shooter from 2005. See, see what kind of multiplayer uh, stuff we can get into in that. So I'll be back in a minute.
back. Okay. Uh, so sure say to HD. Yeah, I think so. Uh, who came in? Asri. Thanks again for that rate. Hello, hello. Let me see. Here. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Well, I'll just, I think we're just waiting for Alex here. Alex, one of the co-founders of Madrinas, to come on so we can play a little game until I see him pop up. He might be busy doing something. Ash, how are you today? Hello. Uh, it's going good. He's tried a new game, Niflheim. Oh, I've heard of that. Is that that city builder game? Or is that, am I thinking of something else? Do, 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 do. Dancy baby. Uh, I keep forgetting to make new videos. You got, uh... Yeah, you got them potions. We're loaded up on potions. We should be alright on the potions. Let's just see if we can load up on some more. Better wait for nighttime. Evening. Advanced time. This guy comes out at midnight. Okay, should be out now. Oh, that guy goes to bed, and that guy comes out. Oh, there's another guy in there. Okay. Oh, a Reaper's Axe. 1 through 12 plus 10 against undead. An Inferno Hammer. Red, more red barbarian clothes. Okay, we're going to buy all this stuff, and then we're going to go back in the dungeon. We're buying all this. Okay, nice. All right, that's a lot of potions. That should be good. Wonder how long the fatigue slowly lasts. Maybe I should be should have been focusing more on uh, on that. I'm getting the fatigue slower. Using it, using the fatigue slower. Tech turtle, hello, hello. How are you? Hope you're having a good day. You're doing the work thing. I'm having a pretty good day. Having fun with Arcanum today. Having a little fun with this Arcanum over here. Like I said, uh, should be doing a coffee fuel cups giveaway pretty soon, pretty soon, and have Alex from Madrinas on the channel. And we're gonna try Serious Sam too, a co one of the co-founders of Madrinas Coffee. Okay, which we are affiliated with. If you check out madrinascoffee.com, you can use the code RGTOM, R-G-T-O-M, and you can get 40% off. That's a lot of percent. Thank you, Athena. Thank you. Yes, Vicky. Uh, yeah, you've got to get dressed. You're taking off your pants. Get dressed or undressed. Pick one. you got to pick one. No in-between. It's with foxes, wolves, and bears like a survival. you got to defend your tower from hordes. Okay. Nice. Let's look at it. Doesn't it have... Sounds familiar, but maybe I'm thinking of one of the other Viking-themed games. Alright, so we are loaded up here. Loaded up on posh. On potions. Poshies. Uh, hey, Shlomo. Hey, how's it going, man? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know if Alex is ready. I mean, I assume maybe he'll message me on the Discord when he's ready to come on. So, I'm just waiting on that. But we can play this game until then. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes I stand up, so I do wear I do wear pants on stream. It's unfortunate. But I get I I, I get out of it by wearing Yeah, it's no big deal, Shlomo. I just didn't want to uh just in case he's waiting on me or something. I get out of it by wearing shorts, even in the winter. Cargo shorts. Cargo shorts are good if you're a if you're a parent, because you can put all your child's little things in all your pockets. This game looks fun. Yeah, it's like a Fallout style RPG is the most popular thing to compare it to, like the original Fallout's, but it's in a steampunk world. Magic and technology. It's pretty neat. It's a pretty neat game. The world is probably the best part. 
like all this technology and stuff you can mess with tech trees guns potions and but we're not doing any of that we're doing magic we're doing a magic run so I'm regretting a little bit though it seems like this would have been hard because I can probably make this automaton as a as like a, like a companion but then if it blows up I'm assuming I need to make a new one but with so tech technology seems like it'd be maybe powerful but but more difficult yeah it's got that Diablo style with the inventory and the potions and everything but it's you don't pick up as much equipment hey Dave good morning Dave cargo shorts yeah <laughs> all right you know about the cargo shorts yeah I have a daughter so like all her little hairpins and stuff actually <laughs> there's one in this pocket right now one of her hairpins still in one of the pockets <laughs> and like water bottles and things of food or whatever else all right Vicky's dressed good <laughs> I don't think it's specific time. Hey, Alex B. Hello. A binky and a half banana in. <laughs> yeah. What? Who dares disturb the exile of Thunderstone? Oh, nice. Yeah, after I, um... Hold on, can I save the game? Oh, we have to go through this conversation. I, uh... Yeah, after I became a dad, I bought a whole bunch of new cargo shorts. Forgive me, Your Highness. I had no choice but to... What? An elf? Have you any idea? I dream every day of the death I would rain down on your cursed race. And here you are, violating my solitude, my sorrow. Oh, is it Discord chat? Okay, um... I'm gonna make sure I saved the game. I think I did. I'll come back later. No. I'm very sorry, but you've made a terrible, terrible mistake. You're going nowhere. I've come here to writhe upon the blade of my sorrow, to live the thousand deaths by the ancient right of kings. These laws are passed down through the I'm pretty sure I saved. Begin you Let me just get out of this. Betrayer. I fight you. You've spoken the wrong words, Yeah, I saved. And Harrow I just wanted to make sure I saved. I, acc okay. I accidentally got into a conversation that I couldn't exit the wrong time all right so we're gonna switch over to Sirius Sam 2 for a bit with Alex the co-founder of Madrinus which we are affiliated with if you use code RGTOM on madrinuscoffee.com here's the coffee command you get 40% off and it's great stuff let me find Alex here uh, let me see all right so I'm a chat whenever Alex is ready I'm in the voice chat here and let me switch over. We're going to play some Serious Sam 2. Hopefully it works. I was thinking of, um, you know, some sort of a retro multiplayer game we could play. And this is one that I figured out supposedly had a um, multiplayer that would work through Steam. Okay, let me just change my title here. Alex from Adrenus is here, so we're gonna try this out. Should be fun, and we're gonna give away, so here's a giveaway active now. If you wanna just win some Adrenus fuel cups, we got three winners that can follow this link in chat and um, win Madrinas fuel cups. So check out that link, put in your email and your name, and then you have a chance to win. So we'll post that throughout the next hour, 